This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Jack Threads. <laughs> All right, there's an evolutionary psychologist from the London School of Economics that's making news. Uh, he actually is writing a book, actually he's released a book called 10 Politically Incorrect Truths About Human Nature, right? And of course, the title is self-explanatory. He comes up with theories for why people are the way they are. A lot of them don't make any sense. That's absolutely true. Yeah, it's absolutely true. A lot of them don't make sense, but I think that they're comical, so I want to share them with them anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. So I picked out my favorites. The first one is uh, his theory that liberals are smarter than conservatives because they are more evolved as humans. Right? <laughs> that I agree with, and I think that that is correct. Okay? And let me give you a little bit of an Over. explanation. So he thinks that this is true because uh, during the hunter, hunters and gatherers, right, Tribes did not share their resources when, with one another. They were greedy with their resources. However, um, as people evolved, right, it was a novel behavior to share your resources, right? So if you were able to adapt to that behavior, then you're obviously more evolved and you're more intelligent. On the other hand, I know really intelligent Republicans, and they've been Republicans. I have been a Republican in times good, and I have been a Republican in times bad. Well, actually, that might prove his case. <laughs> no, by the way, this guy's theories, I'm not buying it at all, okay? He takes some evolutionary fact. He's like me on steroids with evolution. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yes. And he blows it up out of control, like, oh, the liberals are a little more novel, et cetera. Now, you could make a case the liberals are, are smarter, I think for a different reason, not having to do with the, his idea of novel evolutionary changes, uh, is that, look, liberals are more open to change. Conservatives want things to stay the same. In the battle, in the battle between those two forces, uh, liberals are always going to be right, right? Because whether you like it or not, the world always changes. And if you're more open to change, well, that's a smarter position in a matter of speaking. Right. Do you see what I'm saying? Because you're adapting to what's inevitably going to come anyway. If you're a conservative, you're like, I hold on to this, I will hold on to that. Well, that's dumb, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, that's a much more simple, maybe perhaps less sophisticated theory on it, but I'm not buying his theory at all. And he uses this novel thing all the time. We actually had a s discussion on that about that before on the show. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, and he does use it for every single theory that he has. Yeah, good so, give us that. Another one is that uh, beautiful women have more children, and those children are uh, tend to be girls, right? right? And the reason why is because uh, males are judged based on their status and their wealth, whereas women, in order for them to find a mate, they need to be physically attractive. So attractive couples tend to have more girls, because that's the one trait that they can pass on to the girl. Uh, yeah, and uh, he thinks, evolutionarily speaking, you want to pass on your best traits, and the reason, and the, and the, the attractive women, their best trait is their attractiveness. So they're more. Like, I don't even think that's true. No, come on. Are we? Are no, we, no, 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 no. I don't mean overall. I mean his reasoning. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's, is there an evolutionary theory that we pass on our best traits? I don't think there is. I think this guy is wildly full of shit. I really do. But then he's got the theory that if you have more daughters, you're smarter, right? No. No, smarter people have more daughters. No, 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 no. He didn't say that about Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. This is the same guy. Oh, I didn't read that theory. Yeah, remember Steve O passed that. No, no, no. That had to do with looks again. If you're attractive, if you're an attractive couple, you're more likely to have oh, daughters. Oh, my bad, my bad. Right. If you're more attractive, you have more daughters. Okay, mm. now I'm going to disprove that theory. Steve, go ahead. Get on camera. Go ahead. <laughs> come on. Just come on. No, no, it's okay. Well, maybe it'll prove the theory. All right, this theory is totally 100% true. Look how hot I am. I have three daughters. Steve-O has three daughters. <laughs> Ova. <laughs> O-V-A-H. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Jack Threads is a new sponsor for TYT. They're a members-only online shopping club, but because you know us, you're going to get in. Aren't we cool? <laughs> but here's a key part to it, 80% off. Hello, up to 80% off of the, some of the top apparel lines in the country. Game over. Right. So go to jackthreads.com slash TYT because it's free to join, and you get all those discounts, and you avoid the pain in the ass. The ending of this commercial is a little schwang, wang, wang. <laughs>